Hi, this is 2013 Audi A4 and today we're gonna show you after we have the Android system installed how we can check it all the function before you put everything back to the center console so as you can see this is the low trim which is the internal MMI without factory navigations so there's no MMI controller here and we call internal MMI come with Audi concert and this is the control knob that we add to the with the Android systems and once you have the vehicle turn it on so first you still need to control on here and then select media once you select media then you select the button right there behind the factory knob you will have external audio player to get this external audio player or external aux functions you will have to add the AMI female aux jack to activate the aux function without that you cannot add it so make sure you have the aux AMI female aux cable connect to the factory AMI connector so for this vehicle, it will locate it right there and the plug is inside. So as you can see here, and for the vehicle with 3G MMI external, the AMI plug mostly located on the right hand side of the glove box compartment. After that, then once you select the external audio player, you need to push down to select and it will show external audio source uh, active after that you can touch the screen and you go to the Android system so on the Android system the first thing you will need to check is the music so when you turn the music on this way you can check the song and if the song is making is working properly then you go to android main menu and go to car info to check the resolutions if the resolution is wrong then you will need to switch back and go to setting scroll down factory 190627 after that go in to go to car display once you go into car display most of the A4, Q5, A5 with internal MMI the option will be number 2 which is shows Q5 6.5 inch low 400 by 240 so you also can select half screen or full screen Let's say if I select the wrong resolutions, if I select this 3G and what it shows, it will show you the resolution is with uh, a lot of color line which is not correct. So at this moment, go back again, go to factory 190627 and then we go back to the car display, we go to 6.5 half screen if you want to do full screen then you go full screen and after that go back to the system and check this is like the full screen if you would like to have a half screen then the option will be number two okay so right now we go through all the setting one by one this is the factory d4 setup if you try to change by yourself and after that some of the setting you don't remember and please take a look on this video so all the setting USB host the link check Google apps check Bluetooth check remember last mode enable DVR close Bluetooth Android Bluetooth amplifier OEM 360 CVBS that's for aftermarket 360 camera so you don't need to worry about that as we don't 
the cell 360 camera with the Android system at the moment unit selection if you are running on kilometers then you will select matrix if you're running on miles then you can select imperial AHD camera you also can put it on automatic detection and then go to vehicle setting don't select the car without OEM monitor always leave it unchecked if you check mark once you go back to the car info it will show you the clock this model once you check mark this only for the vehicle doesn't come with factory screen if you have factory screen you will need to leave this one unchecked aux switching mode select menu aux auto switching other knob tie a driver left number of door four those are the standard setting the gear selection for gear one you can is mostly for automatic transmissions gear type 2 is for manual transmission but it won't work for like all the vehicle with manual transmission certain vehicle it can work some of them it doesn't work if it doesn't work you will need to connect to different wire and trigger by the reverse light you know if you have this type of question or any issue to trigger the camera you also can contact us and then we can guide you or send us an email to tech at 4x4shop.ca also the gear type 3 is for special model you also can try gear type 2 and gear type 3 map key selection android navy mode key selection enable fl speaker enable we select disable speed type selection one voice key not use phone key selection android bluetooth control panel that's not for audi steering wheel track selection track one 360 please ignore this turn signal control no my external this is not available at the moment original radar display reverse normal and these two are not for the audi system at the moment car display so for if you have the internal mmi the option number one and number two will be your choice if you have external mmi that will be 3g plus which is option number three and number four so for the rest of the vehicle if you have a3 then you try all the a3 if you have a4l which is 17 to 19 then you can try a4l and the q3 there q7 a6 for older model and the 3g so in this area all the car display will will be the setting that you correct the factory resolution to show on the android screen if you didn't set that you will get the color light up when you go to the audi systems cam protocol for the internal mmi the option you will need to select q5 low that's the only option you need to select if you have 3g mmi which is the external MMI controller then you have option to select either Q5 under squad 3G or Q5 under squad 3G plus those are two setup can selection for the external mm 3 external 3G MMI so after you select it you will need to go to the profile import select restart to reboot the unit to apply the change so cam protocol is also include MIB A4L A3 also the Q3 come with high and low so if you have um, low Q3 low then you will need to select Q3 under Scott 3G but if you have high and Q3 then you need to select Q3 3G plus 
on the Q7, then we also have 2G and 3G. A6L 16 to 18. You can follow the information of your car to select the right one. If you have any question, you also can contact us. My gain is the sensitivity for the internal mic and also the external mic. They both use the same setting. So normally we set it on 7 or lower. If you move the number to a bigger number, then it will increase the sensitivity to, to higher. If you drop it lower, the sensitivity will be lower. <coughs> Especially when you change the sensitivity to lower, um, <coughs> the other end, like the caller cannot hear your voice properly, then you will need to increase the mic gain to higher number. But usually we leave it on 7 to 12 in between. So this number you can try. Reverse existing time, we leave it on D4. UI configuration is just the theme that we put it on the Android main menu. So we also preload few different themes on the Android system. Profile import. Somehow, sometime we will look for this number if you purchase the unit maybe after a year or two uh, that we will need to troubleshoot with some issue then we will ask you to provide this number boot logo is also available and if you want more logo to import to the Android system uh, that one you cannot customize you only can get it from us uh, and then we can try to help you set up the logo for you for the setting here to go to this setting which is go to Android main menu go to setting and go to system if you have factory backup camera then you will need to select camera selections on OEM camera if you adding aftermarket camera then you will need to select aftermarket camera 360 camera is the is for manual transmission to trigger the system switch to reverse. Built-in 360, this option is not available at the moment. Unit selection. If you're running on kilometers or miles, we have option for that. And also the temperature, we have Celsius and Fahrenheit. The brightness you also can change from here. Select music apps, select video apps. It means you can select your own application that you want when you click on the music icon on the Android main menu. Aux position, we don't use that, so please set it on zero and zero. Volume navigation, this is already set on Google map. Volume, we set it on Android volume. Usually we set it on 30 and the core will set it on 33. OEM volume, you don't need to change it. That's not related to the Android systems and not related to your Audi systems. Sound, which is the equalizer, you can change that to different mode. Language, time, the time we always set it on Android time. The Android time can update by GPS signal or internet connections. And you also have 12 hour and 24 hour selections. System info, this is the system info that we use for technical support. So we might ask you to send us the version number once you face into some issues. And after that, we check the camera. If you have factory camera or aftermarket camera, then you can simply shift the vehicle to reverse. And today we install the aftermarket camera. It also turn by follow the steering wheel directions. Once you shift to park, it back to the Android main menu. This is also related to the CAN protocol and also you can check the dashboard functions on the dashboard function if you're pushing the gas 
it will show the number if you open the door it will also show the door open it also will show the temperature and it will same as the vehicle temperature and this knob is also functioning with the Android system when you push down is the confirm when you press the back it will go back and also the hasa button will be relocated behind the knob once you press it and the factory hasa function will be on and also on our hasa button will be fresh same as the factory one and regarding the apple carplay on this unit so first you will need to forget the bluetooth that you connect to the audi system on your phone and then connect after you forget that then you will need to connect the bluetooth from the audi system sorry you do then you will need to connect the bluetooth from the android system to your phone so to set up the wireless carplay and this is the step we will show you here so First, you will need to go to your phone and turn on the Bluetooth. On the Android unit, you will need to press the search. And on your phone, you will need to turn on the search. So once you wait for the searching complete, you will need to select the name of your phone on the list so once the searching is complete then you select your phone select OK and then it shows connecting and you, now you need to check on your phone it part of the window asks you to connect pair and select allow and once it connected you can check the Android screen and it will switch to CarPlay menu and then it pops up on your phone asks you to use CarPlay then you select use CarPlay after that it will switch to CarPlay on the Android screen so once it running on wireless CarPlay the Bluetooth from the Android system no longer shows connected it will show not connected but actually it's on Wi-Fi connections that's why we call wireless carplay the Android AP will be the one for wireless carplay connections and make sure the low data mode is disabled and also if you have hard time to connect you also can go to general carplay and you can check if there any Z-Link device is available once you go into the carplay options select the ceiling then you will have that carplay needs to turn on if this one is off the wireless carplay won't work with the android systems so this will be two way you can check you also can go into the bluetooth setting and go to the bluetooth from the android system click on the aspiration mark and you also have the carplay option there if you don't see the CarPlay option here, then you will need to go to the general under the setting, which is right here, and go in and go to CarPlay. Make sure the Z-Link had the CarPlay turned on. If it's off, please turn it back on, and the wireless CarPlay will start to work. So this is the wireless CarPlay, and it will same as the Android Auto. You all, this unit also support wire. CarPlay Android Auto and wireless CarPlay wireless Android Auto. If you have any other question, you can let us know or send us an email to tech at 4x4shop.ca. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.